we are going to introduce something very different today, which is the psychology of people who don't have enough. Okay, what happens to the psychology of when you find yourself simply not having enough? And so what I'm going to do now is take a shift and tell you what we got to, which is no longer about the poor. We started from the poor. We discovered a psychology. It's a psychology of what happens when somebody's under scarcity. And what you'll see, what we're trying to, discuss, to convince you of, is that the problems that the poor in money show are very similar to those shown by those who are poor in social connections or in time or in other areas where we experience scarcity. It's what we call the psychology of scarcity. And the argument is actually quite simple. The conditions of scarcity, the conditions of not having enough, create a very special psychology. And that psychology, when you exhibit it in conditions where you don't have enough, makes bad things happen. Okay, so that's going to be the, the argument. Now, we use a metaphor. I'll give it to you, uh, and the book is developed a bit, a bit further. But you can think of your budget as a suitcase. Some of us have a very tight suitcase with things hardly fit. And some have a large suitcase with lots of slack in it. Life is a lot easier with a large suitcase with slack in it. Because you need to plan a lot less carefully. Because when you go on a trip and your suitcase is very large, you toss all the things you need. And by the time you run out of space, the things left out are the things you need much less. The marginal utility of those things is low. When you suitcase this is very small, you toss a few things you need badly and already you're out of space. You have to start deciding, what do I put in, what do I take out? The whole logic of packing, how much time you have to attend to packing. If your suitcase is very tiny, you have to pay attention. If I put this, this doesn't fit. Which shoes are bigger? Which ones are squishier? When your suitcase is big, all that doesn't matter. When you walk, to, walk on the streets of, of, of Aspen, you see a pair of shoes you like, you ask yourself, is the price right? And if it is, and your suitcase is big, you just toss them in the suitcase. If your suitcase is very small and tight, you ask yourself, is the price right? And now, what do I take out of my suitcase to make room for these shoes? You have to think trade-offs. You have to attend to what you're doing. It's a lot of work. So that's going to be part of the story, is that packing a very tight suitcase, living with a very limited budget, requires a lot of attention, leads to more error, and creates difficulties.